Hey guys, Carter Browson here. Today I have an excellent video for y'all. I'm going to show you guys how I make cold brew coffee. For this, we are going to need some simple ingredients though. One of which is not so simple, but important to this process. I'll show you. For this, we are going to need our cold brew coffee maker. This is a Primula cold brew coffee maker. Uh, I got it in the subscription box, uh, best book post if you are interested. And it is pretty nice. I've used it a few times, nothing too special, but it's nice. All right, next, what we're gonna need is whole bean coffee. Like, not ground stuff, not folders. No, we need the beans. Look at that. Fresh beans from this lovely NRG coffee. It's good stuff. Uh, from Costa Rica. I've been to Costa Rica. It's a beautiful place. Go there if you can. All right, we're also going to need a coffee bean grinder to coarsely ground the coffee beans. You can use like the fine, already grounded stuff, but it's too fine and might kind of leak in so you have little granules in your coffee. We don't want that, do we? No. All right, next, we're gonna need a measuring cup. Just a measuring cup. Doesn't even have to be a measuring cup. Use a regular cup. It's up to you. Who's to say? No one cares. We're all friends here. All right. So now let's get into the process. Okay, guys. So the first step is to measure out one cup of beans. So we're just going to take our measuring cup right here. So that, as you can see, it's a little over one cup, but that should be okay. Okay, now that we have those, what we're going to need to do is grind them. So I have our coffee grinder right here. And I'm going to plug it in right there. Oh, that's off camera, sorry. But trust me, it's plugged in. Here, give it a test. Oh, she's plugged in. Oh, and it seems to be a little dirty. Well, that's okay, it's fine. So what we're going to do now, is bit by bit pour in our coffee beans. Ooh, it's a little too much, but it should be okay. We're gonna put our lid back on and grind them roughly. We don't want them super fine, we want them a little chunky. And what I like to do with this grinder in particularly is just open it this way. Oh, that popped off. See, and then we have some pretty coarsely ground beans. And then we want to dump them into the filter. Now let me grab that real quick, people. With this Primula coffee, or coffee, Cold brew coffee maker. Sorry guys, I can't speak today. It separates so you can pull out your filter this way. And for cleaning, the bottom portion screws off. So you can get really nice and in there. Get a really clean filter. It's not full of any of that junk from last time. Even has this little handle to pull it out of the actual maker. And you're just going to want to fill that up. and continue doing this. As you can see, we didn't do the full cup because this one's kind of small. You might be able to, but I can't personally. So I'm gonna finish that up and get back right to you. All right, hey guys, let's now that. that all our beans are nice and grounded up in our little filter here, what we're supposed to do is take the jug. I'm gonna lift up the little handle for a little extra help. I'm supposed to take it and it goes in here and it turns, huh, there we go. It turns so it doesn't come back out, you see? It doesn't, oop. Well, that was the actual lid, but that's fine. Okay, the next step is to now pour two cups of cold water through the filter and in.
Let me go fill up another cup. You don't want to do this too fast, otherwise it messes with it. Okay, now that that's done. Oh, I seem to not have this in correctly. Sorry about that, people. There we go. See? Now that that's doing its thing, see? What we need to do is agitate the beans just a little bit. What I like to use is a bamboo skewer. It's thin, it's pointy enough to penetrate into those beans and just mess them up a little bit, you know? Or not. You can't really see that. I'm gonna poke them in a bit, you know? Yeah. Put a little stirry stew. There, so now you can see that. Okay, so as you can see, it's not entirely filled with cold brew coffee. So what we need to do is fill the rest up with cold water slowly. Okay guys, as you can see, I filled the rest up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to agitate the beans just a little bit more. You can see there, those beans. All right, now here's the worst part of this. We have to put this in the fridge for 24 hours. 24 hours, and then we can make frappuccinos, cold brew frappuccinos. We can make an alcoholic beverage. Uh, uh. So I'm going to put this in the fridge and see you guys in 24 hours. All right, I have the lid screwed on. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna pick it up, take it to the fridge, open that bad boy up. As you can see, we have a little bit of room. Ooh, that's too tall for that. All right, right there will do nicely. And then I'll see that in 24 hours, and I'll do a taste test, and maybe we even make something. You never know. Frappuccino might be nice tomorrow. All right, so I'll see you guys at 5 p.m. tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a few days. I've let it sit in the fridge for about two days, but eh, just had stiff flavor. So I'm uh, gonna show you the process, and let's uh, let's try a little bit. Yeah, it should be good. I'm expecting good things. So let's get to it. So now what we need to do is really simple. We need to take our jug of cold coffee. Sorry, the tripod fell just a little bit. We need to unscrew the cap. As you can see, it filtered over just a little bit, but that should be okay. What we need to do now is lift out the coffee beans. Ooh, it's a little stubborn. Oh, there we go. Just let all that good stuff flow. So this is the innards can be thrown out, but the outside is still good to be reused. Just wash it. I'm gonna go put this, ooh, still got a little bit. What I'm going to do now is just give it a little stir. Ah, as you can see, some of the beans fell in, so what I'm going to do is pick them out, but otherwise, it should be perfectly good to try. So, let's get a cup, shall we? Now that I have it done, Let's give it a sip, shall we? Smells good. Ah. Tastes like cold brew coffee. Alright. Well, this has been Carter Browser, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And have a beautiful day.